Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back to Ghosts and Glitter. My name is Rachel and today we're gonna be doing my February TBR. This is going to be a short TBR. If you saw my 2023 goals, you will know why, but if you didn't and you don't wanna go watch that video, that's okay. I'm doing smaller TBRs because I, when I set large ambitious ones, I hardly read any of them and then I get bummed that I didn't read any of my TBR. Um, I am a mood reader, so we're doing small TBRs. I'm going to be reading more than these books. I'm going to be reading more. Here we are with my four. I think I have four books on here. Two of these books are from my random number generator, which is um, I basically assign a number to every single book on my Goodreads Want to Read shelf. These are not physical books that I own. This is my unhinged Goodreads to be red shelf. And I generate random numbers off of Google because I really need to trim down that, that to be red shelf. So anyway, two of these books are from the random number generator and two of these books are from online book club that I'm hoping to participate in, but we'll see. So starting out with the random numbers, the first number I got was number 780. And this did take me to a book that I had no recollection of ever having put on my to be read shelf. It's a manga. It's called Dragon Head by Minotaro Mochizuki. This is an apocalyptic disaster manga. Um, and all I know just from the brief synopsis is that uh, this group of kids, I think they're in high school, they're on a train field trip or something, not positive. Um, but basically the train derails as it's going through this mountain tunnel and crashes and traps everyone inside or kills some people, but traps people inside. And it's kind of like a survival um, story, but it was described as apocalyptic. So I'm assuming more things than just surviving a train crash is going to be happening. I was able to find this on the Libby app through one of my libraries. So I'm really thankful for that because this seems a little bit obscure. This is a late 90s, early 2000s manga, so it's a little on the older side. Um, I have never heard of this. I don't know how it ended up on my to be read list, but I was like, you know what? We'll give it a go. Um, I'm always looking for more graphic novels and manga to, um, to jump into. So we'll see how volume one goes. I will report back. Um, I'm glad that the random number generator landed on a manga because that's something that I can read in one setting and be able to check it off and feel good about it. So we have Dragonhead Volume 1. The next number that I got was number 576 and I'm really happy with what I got with this one as well. This is a middle grade book that popped up. This is Where the Mountain Meets the Moon by Grace Lynn. This, like I said, is a middle grade fantasy. I'll read the synopsis for you. In the Valley of Fruitless Mountain, a young girl named Min Lee spends her days working hard in the fields and nights listening to her father spin fantastic tales about the Jade Dragon and the Old Man of the Moon. Min Lee embarks on a journey to find the Old Man of the Moon and ask him how her family can change their fortune. I'm really happy that this is a middle grade. I'm happy that it's something lighthearted. I'm excited to be able to check this one off as well. For the two online book clubs that I'm hoping to participate in, uh, the first book club is the Literally Dead Book Club. I try to participate every month. For February, they are going to be reading the third Finley Donovan book which is great, that's great. I haven't read any of the Finley Donovan books. Um, so I don't know if I'll be participating in that discussion, but it is great motivation for me to read the first one. A cozy-ish thriller-y, but not really thriller mystery uh, is gonna be just what I need uh, for this month because I have been a little slumpy in January. I'm gonna read the first Finley Donovan book, which is Finley Donovan is Killing It. Um, if you don't know, this is about an author, Finley Donovan, who writes like crime fiction and she's talking about the plot of her crime fiction or murder plot or whatever to a friend and someone overhears her and thinks she's an actual like hit woman and hires her to kill her husband pretty much. So it sounds really fun and kooky. I know tons of people love this book. So I'm excited to finally pick her up. I plan on liking it. 
if I do like it, maybe I can crank out the next two Finley Donovan books this month. I don't know. I'm not really a cranker outer on series, but we'll see, we'll see. The other book club, is one that I've never participated in. I don't think they do anything on YouTube. I'm pretty sure this is a Instagram Discord book club. It is called Horror in 24. I'll have that linked down below. It has multiple hosts on Instagram. I think there's like five of them. So this is called Your House is on Fire and Your Children All Gone by Stefan Kesbu. This is about kind of a quiet, uh, isolated village. It's a coming of age story, a village that has secrets. The synopsis sounded, like I said, isolated and super atmospheric. Um, kind of like if you read The Lost Village by Camilla Stan, I want to say it was. It sounds like it kind of has those vibes. I don't think it's a very long book. I could be totally kidding myself here. So those are the four books on my TBR. Just four, just four. And like my little mood reader self can deviate and not feel bad about it. Anyway, thanks for sticking around. I know this is kind of a shorter video. Hopefully all my TBRs are gonna be this short. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.